spiritual playboy. I'm really excited. Alaya Love. Today we're going to Nosos, the palace of Nosos. So we're gonna take a look at this site. And it's uh, in ruins, uh, but also in certain areas rebuilt. Uh, rebuilt from the vision of a man who um, discovered this site, whose name is uh, Sir Arthur Evans, if I'm not mistaken. He arrived in 1894, and so by reading a bit on the internet, they say that his interpretation is just one interpretation and not 100%. So it's mostly ruins, but built with some interpretation. So we're going to check it out. And uh, I'll give you more information as we go. quite interesting because it depicts uh, one of the sports of the time which was uh, mainly practiced by women and what it was is that a bull would charge at a woman and the woman had to grab the horns and flip onto the bull and then in a second ball flip off and land on her feet on the other side so uh, grabbing the bull by the horns it gives another meaning and uh, what was also interesting was that um, women of Minoan times were known to uh, wear tight-fitting clothing and probably one of the first uh, cultures where women were wearing tight-fitting clothing and mostly because of the sport which is quite interesting so what I love about that uh, painting with the bull is that like, that was one demonstration of the notoriety and the importance and the freedom that the women had in this culture uh, a sport that was predominantly practiced by women which was aggressive which was dangerous and um, whereas in today's culture you know most sports are male dominated and then they have the female version of it so here in the west wing was uh, what seems to be entrance into a crypt and um, in this area were found uh, multiple like giant vases like the one that you could see in the back there maybe maybe not and on these vases were seals and on the seals were that picture of the snake goddess um, so it's a bit of a mystery still what do sir arthur evans and frank mondose have in common <laughs> most of everything is speculations <laughs> So this is what they're calling the central court, which connects the east and west wings. And um, how beautiful. Dad, I think it's still there. Oh, yeah, what I'd be wearing back then walking through here. <laughs> <laughs> the dresses. Little, Jewelry. Little, little snake, little gold snake armband. As some of you know, uh, when I'm in certain power spots, I tend to get this um, frontal lobe headache that tells me that there's a lot of energy flowing here. And although so far, um, during this whole palace, I don't feel a lot of power here. I think it's um, been a very uh, diffused because of all the people and that the consciousness level here is not super high anymore but the minute i came to this area which had to do what i think is the feminine something about the queen i've been walking down and i was feeling like i wanted to record and say that i'm starting to get my headache but i didn't want to talk for nothing and here we are at the queen's megaron megatron something like that
And this uh, building behind me, uh, named the Queen's Megaron, um, named after that because it, see, it was uh, very beautifully uh, ornamented uh, paintings of dolphins and uh, women. So they're thinking that this had to do with the Queen's chambers and bathing area, seeing that there was a tub in the background. And if you could see on the wall, there's some spirals. You can see where the cracked pieces were was put together and where it was redone, restored. At the top. Yeah. I liked, I really enjoyed the images on the vases and the paintings to show, I don't know what was happening, what, was, what life was like there. I'm kind of imagining myself there. And I appreciated Arthur Evans and his reconstruction of the palace, but some of it did take away from probably the authenticity of what, what might have been there, but still appreciated. And overall, how did you feel about the journey to uh, Nosos? I loved being, I loved being in a place where the goddess was revered, like the snake goddess, and just feeling into that energy. Yeah, so while we were shopping, doing some shopping for some rings, uh, the, the shopkeeper there gave us a nice story that the Manolans actually are um, from ancient Egypt and they came from Egypt to Crete and they built their civilization here. And uh, when this place was discovered, there was like no remains, no body remains, nothing remained uh, of the ancient Minoans, which was said that they just picked up and left when it was time to, to go. And they really paid attention to snake and snake energies mm -hmm. as the snake was um, used to let them know when an earthquake was coming because the snakes would go and hide. We know this because Aliyah was shopping for some snake jewelry. A gold snake ring yeah. that I will get at some point. <laughs> and so for me it's like um, I enjoyed it. I, I, I uh, have the same sentiments as Aliyah. Um, it was actually nice to see a bit more than the remains, so appreciation for Sir Arthur Evans for like the attempt and the effort. Um, I didn't like how many people there were. I did. It really took away from the energy. It was very difficult to feel into the energy. Uh, some of the reconstructions felt a bit like artificial, cheap actually. Um, so that wasn't great, but definitely the pieces where. Um, the where they assumed that the queen's quarters were and the um where they were doing uh, the libations and the, the reverence of the goddess the snake goddess the, it was a bit higher vibration so i enjoyed those areas in general just in general being on an, an ancient site of around 4500 bc and the privilege that we have to even have that experience so all in all, a great experience. If you like this video, like the video, comment, share it. Subscribe, because we are on a road to a thousand subscribers. So, from Crete, Greece, Alaya and Frank Mondose signing off. Peace. Remember, let love free.